So hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to sell digital products on Beacons AI. Beacons AI is one of the best link in bio tools and you can use it for completely free. With Beacons AI, you'll be able to sell unlimited digital products. You can also use it to create appointments. You can also use it to sell courses. The only thing is with each sale that you make, they'll be taking a 9% transaction fee. But that's it. It is definitely a good deal. Now, to get started, all you'll need to do once on Beacons AI, you can tap on Sign Up in the top right-hand corner. Once you're signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, all I want you to do is go over to the left-hand menu option, and you're going to select Store. After selecting Store, from here, you can tap on New Product. After tapping on New Product, you're going to select Digital Download. After selecting Digital Download, you can see a sample cover art right here. Now to remove this, you'll simply tap on the pencil icon. Then you can tap on the X to delete the image. Then you can add your own image or embed a video. So we are going to tap on add image. Then you are going to tap on upload an image. And from here, for example, let's say we are listing an ebook. All you'll need to do is scroll down and from here you could select an ebook cover. Let's say this one. Then you'll tap on open. After you have tapped on open, you're going to give it a few seconds. Then from there, you can customize it. So I'll tap on custom. Once the entire ebook cover has been selected, I'll tap on accept. Now that I've added my ebook cover, as you can see right there, I'm going to change the price. So right where you see $5 on my screen, I'm going to tap on the pencil icon. And from there, you can choose the price that you would like to sell it for. So let's say $25. You can also select the currency right here. After doing that, you are going to go back. Now, once back here, you can see also that you can edit the product title by tapping on product title. You could change the product title right there. You can also add a description if you want by tapping here. You can edit the description. You can also use their AI feature to generate a description if you want. Now to add the internal pages, for example, for an ebook or to add the product that the customer will be receiving, you're going to tap on product files. After tapping on product files, you'll tap on upload file. And from there, you could choose the manuscript or you could choose the item that the customer will be receiving a link for once they have completed the purchase. So I'm just going to choose a random image, for example, SIG, then tap on open. You can see that it has been added right there. Once it has been added, all you'll need to do now, you can scroll down and you could set up your SEO if you want, but to do that, you'll need to be on a paid plan. And you can also set up so that they'll be able to add reviews and so on. You can also tap on checkout settings. And from here, you can edit how your checkout page looks. At the moment, this is how it looks right here. If you would like to edit it, you can tap on the pencil and you'll be able to add a field or so on. Once you're finished, you'll tap on success screen from the top navigation bar. And this is how my success screen looks now. If you'd like to change it, you can tap on the pencil icon. And then from there, you can change the message and so on. And we can also tap on email receipt. And this is how our receipt will look in our customer's inbox. So this is how it looks. If you like to customize it in any way, you can quickly do that by hovering over the section and tapping on the pencil icon. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. And you can see that it has now been published. Once it has been published, you're going to tap on set up payments. And from here, you'll be able to connect your PayPal and Stripe account, as you can see right here. After connecting your payment options, all you'll need to do now, if you like to edit the link in bio storefront, you can tap on edit right there and you can edit how your store looks. So this is how my store looks at the moment, as you can see right here. So you can edit how it looks 
and once you're finished you can simply tap on share and from there you can copy your URL and you can share it another thing that you can also do with this platform if we were to tap on design from here we can change the layout so I could select classic or I can select banner you can see that there are different layout options you can also change the profile image you could upload a banner image right there you can change the size of the profile picture as you can see right here you can increase or decrease it and another thing that you can also do you can view your analytics by tapping on insights right here and you can also tap on settings and from there in the future you could purchase a custom domain name if you want and in the future if you would like to sell more items all you'll need to do is tap on store and from there you can add new products by tapping on new products hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe